Yeah, so the, the burden's largest in China, across South Asia, and parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, um, though obviously significant burdens exist in other parts of Africa, Latin America, um, kind of one-to-one -one relationship with poverty, where you see a lot of poverty, you tend to see a lot of solid fuel use. And as Kirk mentioned, a few countries have had these successful transitions. So Ecuador has had their transition first from solid fuels to gas, and now from gas to induction-powered stoves um, using inexpensive hydropower. Indonesia completed a transition from kerosene to LPG. So kerosene, while a petroleum distillate, is a pretty nasty actor, releases a lot of chemicals that we think are harmful and looks to be associated with a number of bad health endpoints. So that was a positive shift. And then in China, there's been, uh, there was a large uh, national institute uh, improved stove program. I think that's what it's called, but I'm not sure. Um, which installed hundreds of thousands of biomass chimney stoves in village households that were pretty transformative to the households. They raised the cooking surface off the floor. They had a large platform for people to cook and work on, and they were suited for Chinese cooking. So they allowed for high firepower for walks and that sort of thing. And those have been fairly successful. Um, it's now moving to electric and gas cooking as well, because like we've mentioned, chimney stoves, while they might reduce indoor exposures a little bit, they tend to move the pollution outside causing exposure outside or exposure back in the house as the air pollution comes back in.